Julia, I have news. And it's that my gummy worm consumption is about to go way up. But given your current rate of consumption, how is that even possible? Well, I'm gonna get to that. Suffice it to say that I'm going to be going on a lot more road trips from now on. And I'm gonna get to why on that later too. So recently I went on my first solo road trip from Austin all the way to Houston. But that's not actually very far and you're 24 years old and why is that such a big deal? No, 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 no. Julia, you know about my sense of direction and how it doesn't really exist. So this road trip was kind of a scary thing for me because I had never done it solo before. I think the only times I'd ever been through Houston, I was maybe asleep or preoccupied with a book or something. So this time was a little nerve wracking for me and it was kind of a growing experience. And I was thinking about this growing experience and about how it relates to learning, because I'm a nerd. Which I think was actually kind of appropriate given that I was going to Houston for a job interview. So after a lot of mental preparation and printing maps and calling people from Houston so that they would know that I would be there in case I broke down or got in an accident and letting my parents know that I was gonna be okay, I promise, but on the inside going blah, the drive from Austin to Houston ended up looking a lot like this. And after that, obviously, arriving in Houston safely was a huge relief for me. But during all of this, I was thinking about that old phrase, learning the hard way. And I kind of thought, you know, there's really no easy way to learn stuff. You just get used to how hard it is to learn stuff. I think that's the very nature of learning. So I think it's up to us as teachers to understand that it's gonna be hard and it's sometimes not fun. And I'm not supposed to say that because learning is fun. But really, there are ways to make something as hard as learning fun, and this is what I'm getting at. The whole time that I was driving to Houston, I was scared and I was anxious, but that is the nature of learning. There is always going to be some degree of anxiety there. And that's what all of our education theory classes taught us, that there's gonna be a level of anxiety, but it's gotta be the proper level of anxiety. Using my own life example, I was worried about getting lost or breaking down or something going wrong on my way to Houston, but I knew that I had called people in Houston, and I knew that at most my dad was gonna be two and a half hours away in case something happened with my car that I couldn't take care of myself. And I find myself thinking that I'm very fortunate and very privileged to have those opportunities and to know that even if something goes wrong, I'm going to have systems of support in place. But we can't create a school environment in which only certain children are afforded those opportunities and systems of support. And that's why we're here as teachers. Yay. The drive back home from Houston was obviously not as scary as the drive to the unfamiliar place. So I actually got lost in this adorable town called Brenham where the ice cream comes from. Yeah. So it really wasn't that terrible of a place to get lost in because it was adorable and because I knew that if I was gonna really get stuck there, there was ice cream. To and from Houston, you see a ton of these. And I know that you're not supposed to follow the signs that say this. I just kind of did. It's not like I was distracted or anything. I don't know what happened. My heart for the first time and I was like, baby, 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 oh. I'm only a little bit ashamed. Now, fortunately, if I were to personify the roads in Brenham, it would probably end up being a teacher because the roads were very helpful. At one point, I realized that I was on some street called Main Street, which is very specific, but it eventually started pointing me in the direction of like, hey, this is 290 West, the not business kind. And I was just taking it all in and it was really cool and it was kind of like, hey, sometimes when you learn you get distracted or you get confused and it happens and that's, again, the nature of learning. But then eventually I got into this road that didn't really look like a highway ramp, but it wasn't exactly the city of Brenham anymore, so I was like, I don't really know where I am. Oh, it's the big metal chicken. We're good. I, I know where we are now. We're good. We're good. But I don't really see what any of this has to do with gummy worms at all. Okay, well here's the thing. It looks like I'm going to be taking a lot more road trips from Austin to Houston from now on. One, because it turns out I actually know a lot of people in Houston. And two, because I found out that it's actually pretty easy. And Julia, you and many of our closest friends know that my favorite road trip snack food of choice is gummy worms. So I developed a little graph that shows my general one-to-one -one correspondence between road trips taken and gummy worms consumed. However, for accuracy's sake, you really need to adjust for all those times in between road trips that I splurge a little bit, the 89 cents on gummy worms, uh, and for making video blogs. It's important. But, slowpoke McLollygagger, you've already hit five minutes in this video, so get to the point. Okay, okay. My point is, I got a job! Baby, 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 oh, like, baby, 
So I'm super duper excited. I'm gonna be teaching fifth grade, which is gonna be new territory for me, but I'm actually really looking forward to it because the curriculum is sweet. And because of FERPA, I can't really say anything more about it. And it's in Houston, so on the weekends when I don't have tons and tons of work to do, um, I'll come to Austin and I'm gonna see my family and my friends who still live in Austin. And don't worry, on the weekends that I don't, you can tell your mom that I'll have dinner at your house and it'll be great and fun. Okay, so I'm really excited. Uh, I don't know if you could tell, but uh, I'm moving to Houston. So see you later.